everybody. How are you? You all ready to read? Do you like to read? I love to read. And you know why? Because it's good for your mind and it's good for your body. Did you know reading was good for your body? When you read, it stimulates your mind and it makes all sorts of good things happen in your body. Oh, that's somebody else. Well, this is Blair. Blair, can you say hi to everyone? Say hi, Blair. Blair's going to help me read a book. Has anyone read The Giving Tree? That's the book I'm going to read first. You want to sit down with me, Blair? All right. What's The Giving Tree about? Anyone remember? Yep. Yes. How old are you? You're 11. What's your name? Liam, come on up here with me, Liam. Because I'm still working on my reading, so I need a couple of people to help me. Blair, can Liam sit next to you? All right. So we're going to read The Giving Tree. What's on the front? There's a tree, right? And a boy. And what's falling from the tree? An apple. All right. Come on around here next to me. So, help me read the first part. Once there was a tree. Once there was a tree. Let's see. We've got new pages here. And she loved a little boy. And this tree loved a little boy. Every day the boy would come. And every day the little boy, you see the boy, would come to visit that tree. Blair, what's happening here? And he would gather her leaves. Blair said there are leaves falling off the tree. He would take the leaves and make them into crowns, and he would play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. Does it, any of you all like to climb tree trunks? Is it fun? You have to be careful, though. You don't want to fall. I climbed a tree one time, and I fell down, and it hurt. But you know what? I climbed that tree again because I love climbing trees, just like this little boy. And swing from her branches. And he would swing from that tree's branches. Anyone ever climb up into a tree and swing from the branches? <gasps> Wait a minute, you did? You're too little to swing from tree branches. No? Oh. And what's he doing here, Blair? What are those? and apples, and he would eat the apples. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. And they would play hide and seek. Can you play hide and seek with a tree? Well, how, maybe, how could you play hide and seek with a tree? You could hide behind that tree, right? And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. And the boy loved the tree. What's he doing to the tree? He's hugging the tree because he loves that tree. Very much. Look, he even wrote a heart on the tree. What's that say? Me and tree, he wrote a little heart on there. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the boy grew older. How old do you think that boy is now? You think he's 11? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. 
Is 11 too old to still love a tree? No, I don't think so. All right, maybe he's a little older. And the tree was often alone. He's not playing with the tree so much anymore, is he? Why? Well, we're going to find out, Blair. That's a good question. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. So he's probably older than 11, isn't he? Yeah. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. He asked the tree, can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. Do you think the boy will be happy once he gets the apples and the leaves and sells them? Well, let's find out. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. The boy climbed up that tree and took all the tree's apples and sold them. And the tree was happy. Why was the tree happy even though she didn't have apples? Because she made the boy happy? Yep. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. Does he look like he's gonna climb up that trunk and swing? No, because he's getting old and crotchety, right? But who's got a parent here? Did any of your parents climb trees with you? Yeah? You're never too old to climb a tree. So when you all go home, get your parents to climb a tree with you. <laughs> I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. So I need a house. Can you give me a house? Can the tree give him a house? No. I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you can cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And what? And the tree was happy. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Have you all ever been really happy after your mom or dad has been away for a long time and they came back home? So happy you can hardly speak? Does anyone have a dog or a cat? Yes. And you come home and they're so happy that they can hardly contain themselves? Well, that tree was so happy. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Can that tree give that boy a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and Away. Oh no, Blair, look. The boy cut down that tree and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy. Can you read that, Blair? But not really. Why do you think the tree wasn't happy? Because he left and he cut her down. After a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could give you something but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. Is there anything left the tree could give? 
Well, let's see. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. An old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. All right. Well, thank you all very much. Thank you for helping read. Thank you for helping me read. I appreciate it. You did an awesome job. Give him a big hand. You did a great job. You all want to read maybe one more book? All right. Do we have one more book? All right. You want to go grab a seat? Thank you very much. Where are your parents? Um, did they over there, come here. <laughs> Got to get a picture of this great reader. <laughs> All right, one more book. This one here is going to be quick. You want to go grab a seat? Thank you. All right, this one's called Oh, the Places You'll Go. Has anyone read this book? Lots of people have read this book. Is it a good book? Because I haven't read it. Haven't, haven't read it before, so let's see. Oh, the places you'll go. Who's that by? Dr. Seuss. You ready, Blair? Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Hey, that rhymes. What does rhyme mean? It means it sounds the same. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you, what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets. Look them over with care. About some, you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. Is that a not so good street? Why? There's a dragon there waiting, and you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening, too. What does that look like? What's in that picture? Elephants? Do any of you all have elephants in your town? This is a wacky town. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. What's that? That's a balloon lifting him up in the air. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, You'll top all the rest, Blair. What do you think about that? Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true, that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You'll get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. What happened to, all, to him? and all those other balloons are leaving him. That's why he says, your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. What's a slump? Anyone know? It's sad, yeah. You know, exactly, you don't want to do things because you're in a slump. Are you all in a slump sometimes? Sometimes? And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. What kind of things can we do to unslump ourselves? 
maybe play with a friend, or maybe get a hug from mommy or daddy, right? You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. Were you all waiting in line to get in? Just waiting. But then you got in and had fun, right? You think he's gonna have fun eventually in here? Let's find out. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky because you're that kind of guy or girl. They need more girls in this book, don't they? I think so. Well, we should have boys and girls. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the most winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win because you'll play against you. You know any games you can play against yourself? Anyone? Solitaire, I heard that. Any other games you can play against yourself? Yes. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, through the weather, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, through the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek so your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems wherever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will, indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxbaum, or Bixby, or Bray, or Mordecai Ali, Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. And that is the end of the book. Did you all like that one better or the giving tree better? This one better? 
Why? You didn't like the, give, the giving tree? That boy wasn't too nice, right? But that tree was so nice. I liked both books. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today and for allowing me to read to you. And now you've got to go and read a book to your parents tonight. Every single one of you, even if it's a picture book, I want you to go home and read to your parents or maybe to your baby brother or baby sister or your cat or your dog, but just read to somebody, okay? Thank you all very much. It was nice to meet you. Blair, you ready to, can you say bye to everybody? <laughs> Thank you.